Did you know that over 143 million Americans had their sensitive personal information exposed in online attacks and data breaches last year alone? Online crime is a real threat in today's internet-connected society. With one and a half million annual cyber attacks, that's 4,000 a day or 170 an hour, online crime has become a real threat to everyone. The best way to protect yourself and your family is to purchase a virtual private network. I use Virtual Shield and recommend you do too, because they've agreed to extend their 30% lifetime discount offer for my viewers to March. Link in the description. Everyone and their Nazi dog are talking about the YouTube account Dankula. Because earlier this week, he was found guilty of committing a hate crime after he trained his girlfriend's pug Buddha to zig hail on command. I first spoke with Count Dankula about a year ago. I did, I did have like a YouTube channel, but like I didn't give a fuck about it. Like it was just absolute shit posts <laughs> that I was uploading on yeah. it. And then I just sort of decided that like my girlfriend absolutely loves her pet pug. Buddha, like yep. she absolutely loves him more than anything. And I just thought it would be funny to train the dog into becoming, you know, the most horrible thing that I could think of, which was a Nazi. I filmed it and like, I, I taught the dog to like raise its paw and jump around whenever I said gas the Jews. And then like, <laughs> like that was, and then I like, I filmed it all to show my friends what I had done. And then like, I showed it to my girlfriend and she went ape shit. The thing was, like, give it a, like after a few weeks, she'd kind of like calmed down about it, and she was fine with it. But then I got arrested, and she got really, really fucking angry again. <laughs> and like, yeah, I do that. And, now. But I was actually handcuffed and taken out of the house as well. They actually handcuffed me. <laughs> That's fucking dramatic as fuck. Because you, your neighbours are gonna see you getting carted off by the cops and all that. Like, and they, they're not gonna think. Muster, muster, trying to pug to do a fucking Hitler salute. Well, where, where I'm from, arrests are actually very common in my street, so it was nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> a year on, and Dank was still being dragged into court for a trial that had now gone on for more than twice as long as the Nuremberg trials. That's right, a trial over an internet shit poster teaching a pug how to zig heil on command had now gone on for more than twice as long as it took to try the 22 most senior Nazi war criminals in custody at the end of World War II. It was a couple of weeks ago that I had Dank on my channel for the second time. Tell us about where the, where the, the court case is at the moment. You, you recently went back, what, three, four weeks ago or something? Oh, it was uh, January. It was the uh, 5th of January that uh, I was in, and then I'm back in again on the 20th of this month. It's past the evidence stage now. We're done with all the witnesses and all that type of stuff, and now it's uh, summarizations where they basically just sort of summarize everything that's happened so far. But it's uh, basically the prosecutor's still going. The last time we were in, the prosecutor just spoke for the entire day. How do you speak for yeah. an entire day and, and say a cunt taught his pug how to fucking zig hail and made a YouTube video? He was trying to basically proper, he was repeating himself a lot, like he was repeating himself a hell of a lot and he was uh, claiming some stuff that was just completely untrue. He was trying to properly paint me uh, as a Nazi and uh, no joke, he legitimately made the claim. Like uh, Lauren Southern and everybody, like Rebel Media, they were all there for the yeah. trial and at one point he tried to claim that I actually am a Nazi and I am using Buddha as a smoke screen to to hide me truly spreading Nazi propaganda but trying to sanitize my message by disguising it as a joke and using Buddha to mask the joke and see when he started going through that like absolute tirade of just what is absolute nonsense uh, Lauren Southern's cameraman actually had to walk out the courtroom because he couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like they, so, they're saying that you're trying to use your dog as a as a fucking as a uh, as a what a sanitizer for your for your Nazi message for your, for your Nazi dog whistle. Um, but to to what end are you, are you are you supposed to be some recruitment officer or something for the, the Fourth Reich or what's what's the story? Uh, uh, that's what he's trying to get across. Basically, his uh, final summarization. This is like basically his last chance to like get everything out there. So what he did was he basically just spent the entire day making up absolutely mad accusations, all of which pretty much had absolutely no evidence to back them up at all. He basically just for the entire day said to the judge what a terrible, awful person I am, and he's basically just thrown everything out there hoping that something sticks. That's that's literally all he was doing. He's just uh, he's telling absolute lies just to make sure he gets a conviction. He's not 
interested in any kind of objectivity or the truth or anything like that. He doesn't give a fuck. He probably, even deep down himself, knows, yeah, I know that this is absolute bullshit. Like, I mean, Jesus Christ, we've got this guy in here for a joke. However, it's my job to win, not have any morals. <laughs> so fucking, yeah, that's pretty much what he's doing. But when you say he's tell- telling lies, I mean, do you mean he's, he's fabricating stuff? Like, is this just out, out of thin air shit, or is it is it embellishing? Yeah, no, he's, he's literally trying to say to the judge, "This is what I believe his thoughts are. This is what I. Be- this is why I believe he did it. This is why I believe he did this." He's basically trying to get the judge to assume what is in my head, because apparently the prosecutor, like, the funny thing is, the prosecutor's job is obviously to get a conviction. So he's the, see how if you've got like hardcore evidence, you know, like. DNA or CCTV footage, then Jesus Christ, it's easy to convince someone based on that. But what he's basically doing to the judges, I think that this is what the accused thinks, and so should you. <laughs> that's literally what he's doing. The the thing that's like quite scary about it is uh, I did an action, and they can turn around and say, we believe this is why he performed this action. Now, there's certain other instances, like, say, for example, if I'm outside the house, and I've got like a fucking ski mask on and the police catch me and I've got like a crowbar and shit hidden up my jacket, then, you know, you can kind of argue the intent there. Like, you you, you were going to break into that house, weren't you? Like, see shit like that? It's a lot e- it's a lot easier to sort of describe the intent from that. But see this where it's something being played as a... Compl- obviously, it's a blatant joke. Like, that's just facts. The video itself was a joke. It's a, a, an absolute fact at this point. But uh, he's trying to obviously dispute that fact and he's trying to tell the judge what my thoughts are. We believe this is why he did it. This is what we want you to believe as well. The way that basically the entire the entire process of everything that the prosecutor has done is literally the dynamics of thought crime. It literally is the dynamics of thought crime, which is why so many people are taking an interest. So the 20th of this month rolled up a few days ago and we got a brief update from a pretty nervous looking Dankula. So I'm uh, just about to go back in and uh, he might come to a verdict today or he might end up postponing the trial even longer just so that he can have more time to think of a verdict. So we've no idea what's going to happen. We just kind of need to go in and wait and see. But uh, we kind of just need to, need to hope for the best because it could actually come to an end today. Right, but uh, I'll just post this on my channel just in case. But uh, worst comes to worst and everything goes fucking terribly. Uh, keep fighting for free speech. Keep fighting the good fight, the great meme war, <laughs> and uh, just, uh, just going to leave you all with a good Scottish saying, don't let the bastards grind you down, right? Hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. Fucking hell, imagine being in that position. As far as he knew, there was every possibility of being sent from the court straight to prison for six months because of an offensive joke. Dripping with spastic, spastic autism. Spastic autism. So as you already know, Dank was found guilty that day, but the court has postponed sentencing until the 23rd of April. This guy taught a pug to hail Hitler and was convicted of a hate crime. Buddha was a cute, innocent pug like any other until Mark Meachin, a professional shitposter who prides himself on being anti-PC as Count Dankula online, decided to teach him a new trick. He claimed to have trained the dog to throw up a Nazi salute every time he heard Sig Hale and uploaded footage of the corrupted pup to YouTube, a stunt that landed him in court on Tuesday. Meachin has since apologised for the video and insisted that he didn't mean to offend anyone. As he tells it, shouting, GAS THE JEWS! over and over again and posting footage of it online is just supposed to be funny. Meanwhile, he's been leaning into the whole anti-PC warrior thing, buddying up with the likes of Alex Jones and Paul Joseph Watson while he live blogs his own court appearance on Twitter. He's scheduled for sentencing on April 23rd, but judging from his tweets, he's been taking the whole going to jail for turning a dog into a Nazi thing pretty well, or at least pretending to. Well, what's he supposed to do? Have some sort of public Twitter tantrum? I hope he is genuinely taking it well. And if he's not, then good on him for putting on a brave face and playing the hand he's been dealt by his own country's fucked up tyrannical legal system. That article was from Salon.com, by the way, where pedophilia, that's a nuanced conversation, but an edgy joke about a Nazi pug, that crosses the fucking line. I caught up with Dank for a chat on V's live stream after the hearing.
This is fucking ridiculous. This, this is, uh, you must be shocked, I think. Oh, yeah, posted the, you posted the Hangout link to Twitter, you might want to take it down. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I, I, I done fucked it up. Yeah. See how Efren Borowski, the guy who uh, basically is the, with the Scottish Council of Jews, like Jews around the world are like emailing him going, what the fuck are you doing, that man? Like, we care about actual anti-Semitism. It's like that. What the fuck is this? Why are you wasting your time on this? You do realise that this is the type of shit that makes people hate us. You are making the problem worse. Thank is it, is it true that, that he didn't actually complain? Did, did, did they go to him to conjure up yeah, his, they did, his, they did. his complaints, really? He, he is the police's go-to guy for anything in regards to Jews. So basically, they contacted him. They went up to him and went, yeah, you should make a complaint. That's what they basically did. The police went up and goaded him into complaining, but it was the police's idea to ask him. And and so and so that's that's openly acknowledged in 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 court top thing. Yeah, that was that was brought up today in court. Yeah, it was the but mostly the police the police just decided to do this on their own. So any any comedian in, like in in the UK now has to has to be petrified that the yeah. fucking courts are going to turn Cause, on cause the that, that, are turn on them. And... Well, no, this 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 literally means that this sets the precedent that. Any joke that you make, <clears throat> your context, the context of the joke, and also your intent behind the joke, no longer matter. They're irrelevant. I, I was thinking before of, of uh, you know, you know the the show Little Britain. You remember that 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 yes. sketch where the, where the where, where where he dresses up as an old woman and 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 he, he like gets told that the you know the black kid made the cake. Aren't they wonderful, Judy? Oh yes, delightful, Maggie. Hello. Hello, Arcala. Would you care for a scone? Yes, they will about. Yes, thank you. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Did you make these? No. Baloo did. Thank On my account. <laughs> if your Nazi pug video is, is fucking is a, is a hate crime, surely that's a hate crime. Yeah, exactly, man. It's just a, uh, it's just selective prosecution, is what it is. Like uh, they know that if they went after any of like the true big comedians, they really wouldn't have any public support. So they thought they would go after me, a little guy, and instead they've got fucking massive backlash anyway. <laughs> like that man, but like. Uh, the best, the best they could have hoped for was a victory. Like I knew I was going to get a guilty from the get go. Like the guilty verdict was decided before I even went to court for the very first time. Like they, they, there was no way that the government were going to let me, like you know, get away. What's your gut feel, Dan? What, what do you reckon will happen? Um, well, it's the thing is as well. Like the public backlash is that fucking bad that prison. There's still a chance of prison. Um. A little bit more likely because he's asked for background reports on me and all that, which is what judges usually do whenever they're uh, going to send you to prison. They just what, want to. What, what, what other jokes has he told? <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just stuff that I, it's probably just some like, stuff that I've been arrested for in the past and all that. And like, I have been arrested mm-hmm. before, but it's just been for like drunk fighting outside a bar. Well, um, th- there's another problem. Like, it's not, you know, the jail that I think you should be worried about. I mean, obviously, you know, even one day in jail is horrible. But imagine if they interdict your right to go to a computer. Yeah, that's something that could happen as well. Yeah. What's, what was the maximum for that shit? Because I think that's for years. It's not just a couple of months. Yeah, well, I think it, I think it just sort of depends on the judge, really. Like at this point, I'm hoping for a fine or community service. Did your girlfriend? Did they try and make your girlfriend testify against you? Is oh that, no, she did. did that uh, yeah, they uh, forced her to be uh, perform as a witness. Allah, <laughs> Rasul Allah. <laughs> okay, so so I'll I'll restart the stream if that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, man, no, they're just having they're just having fun. It's spicy, man. No, because if if it's not very good, it's fine. Because you look tired, and uh, you know. No, it's, the thing we're is, gonna get more of that. I, rec- I recognize all the voices. Like I know who they are. <laughs> 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 but like, uh, what was I saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they told Sue that she would have to appear as a witness against me if she didn't turn up. Then she was going to be arrested. 
the thing that made it even funnier as well is when I was applying for legal aid, uh, this is the reason I had to source my funds. Now, I, was, I wasn't I was working uh, when I applied for legal aid. I was getting, like, no money. I had, like, no job. And uh, mm. what happened was they obviously examine your finances to see if you qualify for legal aid. And uh, they examined my accounts, realised that I'm poor as shit. But they examined Sue's accounts, and Sue and one of her accounts had uh, an inheritance that she got, and like it was one of those inheritances where like you need to sign a contract to say that this will be used for like a house, which was the reason she got it, her inheritance. Yeah. So basically, she'd sign a contract. It's just to basically make sure that some kid doesn't just get an inheritance and then pisses it all up against the wall, you know, like that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they basically turned around and says, oh, yeah, well, she's got that money there, so your trial's covered. And I was like, hold on, that's not my money. I have no legal right to that money whatsoever. So, so, Holy like, shit. So, yeah. so they're like, Miss, Mrs. can pay for it. And by the way, she's fucking, she's going to be a witness against you. That's literally what happened, yeah. That is fucked. Yeah, that's it. Everything about this trial fucking stinks, man. It certainly does seem that way. And that's why there's been such an outpouring of support. Because regardless of political leaning, most of us recognise the importance of being able to freely express ourselves, whether addressing Parliament or dropping dank as fuck memes online. And then there's people like Mikey Rollins who just love to kick people when they're down. Unfucking believable Anyway, thanks again to this video sponsor, Virtual Shield VPN. Use the promo code BEAR30 to get a 30% lifetime discount. See ya.